What is going on garden fans? Welcome back to the Permaculture Homestead. I want to give you just a quick update as to what's going on. Enjoy the journey. Collards we panted are ready to go out and going out today before our first frost. It's been very quiet without the chickens here lately. Still a little sad and butthurt about all that, but what I need to do here this winter is secure this chicken coop a little bit better and we will probably start again in the spring. Quick update on the bees, they're doing really good. It was about this time the past two years that my hives had either died or swarmed on me. And this year, they're as strong as ever. I've treated for varroa mites last month, took out the strips today. I reduced the size of the hive for winter. I saw my queen and everything is doing good with the bees. So crossing my fingers and hopefully we can get a hive through the winter this year. I wanted to quickly show you the hive beetle traps that have been in the beehive since spring. They've caught quite a few beetles and I've replaced them here today. So I have two of these in my beehive right now and they did really good, for me at least, uh, keeping the hive beetles at bay. Hey there Phineas. Last thing I want to do is just give you a quick glossing over the whole food forest. Not a whole lot has changed since last visit. I have planted out a lot of our brassicas and fall crops, as you see here. Our goji berry are still producing, and once again, I would highly suggest that anybody living in Zone 8 uh, grow goji berry. They produce from spring up until our first frost. Whole Food Forest is still alive. A lot of the things I planted in the spring are still alive, especially our autumn olive. I'm really happy about planting parsley or biennial this year. It's already coming back. And things like our moringa are doing really good. I keep pruning and eating the leaves off of these. And before our first frost, I'll eventually prune everything off of them. Everything else is looking pretty good. We did a whole big chop and drop. And as you can see, this elderberry hedge is already putting on new growth. So it's a very rapid grower. A lot of the dead material on the ground is already breaking up, as you can see. And it hasn't been cold enough to kill our comfrey, so our pawpaw trees here still have a really nice looking uh, guild look to them. But overall, garden fans, the whole food forest is winding down here for the uh, fall and summer. And what I'm going to be doing during the winter is just preparing for a whole nother year of gardening and food forestry. I really appreciate y'all watching, as always. If you got any questions about homesteading in the suburbs, just ask. Uh, we thank you for all your support, as always. Please like, share, and subscribe. God bless. So far, we're so good today. I've reduced the size of the hive. Oh, shit. <laughs>